This procedure will require DNA Purification Kit We use the DNA Clean and Concentrator 5 from Zyma Research, which includes DNA Binding Buffer and DNA Wash Buffer. Filtration Columns We are using Zymo Spin Uncapped Columns 2 milliliter and 0.65 milliliter Eppendorf tubes and Ultra Pure Water the water we'll be using is between 17.5 and 17.8 mega ohm centimeter. The equipment required for this procedure are a pair of scissors, a micro centrifuge, a vortex, a tabletop centrifuge, a small agarose gel, gel rig, and power source, and a UV trans illuminator. To start off, Two sets of eight 2 milliliter Eppendorfs are labeled A through F, PDNA, standing for purified DNA, and today's date. The corresponding amplified DNA samples from the PCR procedure are moved into the first set. Six hundred and fifty microliters of DNA binding buffer are added to each tube. The tubes are then vortexed and centrifuged. Eight more 2 milliliter tubes are prepared by cutting off the lid from each of them. The lids can then be discarded. These tubes will be used as collection columns. Eight filtration columns are labeled 1 through 8 and are placed in their corresponding collection columns. The samples, now about 700 microliters full, are then transferred from the 2 milliliter Eppendorf tubes to their corresponding filtration columns. The tubes are then placed into a centrifuge. At 10,000 RPM for 30 seconds. After centrifuging, the buffer present in the collection column of each tube is discarded into liquid waste. The filter is then filled with 200 microliters of DNA wash buffer. The samples are centrifuged for a second time with the same settings. After centrifuging, the buffer present in the collection column of each tube is once again discarded. 200 microliters of DNA wash buffer are then added once again, and the samples are centrifuged for a third time. After centrifuging, the collection columns can be discarded along with any buffer present in them. The filtration columns are then placed inside corresponding tubes PDNA A through F. 50 microliters of ultra pure water are added to each column pipetting as close to, but not touching, the filter. The samples are then centrifuged for a fourth and last time. After centrifuging, the filtration column can be discarded, 
and the resulting sample left in the pDNA A through F tubes contain purified DNA. The samples should be stored on ice at 4 degrees Celsius or frozen for later use.